Hello guys, this is Cyprian from uh, FEA4All.com and we are up for a new tutorial of Fortran. So uh, in this uh, video tutorial I'll talk quickly about a uh, topic that important in Fortran uh, and that you don't necessarily have to, to bother with in uh, other more recent languages which is a uh, topic of precision. Uh, you have to understand how to handle a uh, different variable with different kind of precisions otherwise when you do uh, calculation and especially mathematic uh, calculations you may end up with uh, an inaccurate results so let's go right away into the demonstration to show you what uh, I mean by that and how to increase the precision of your uh, algorithms so uh, I will so the first thing I'll do uh, as I do is to enter to CD into my Fortran uh, sorry not this one CD into my uh, desktop CD into my uh, desktop folder Fortran and I will create a new uh, a new file called precision Precision dot f ninety five. Okay, okay. And now let's let me show you uh, what I mean uh, by uh, the problem, the kind of problem you get uh, when you have unprecise uh, algorithms. So let's um, start by writing a program. Uh, let's call it Precision, right? And program precision and so the first step is always the same implicit none to be sure to check the variable uh, types then we need to declare the variables uh, and I will declare three real variables x y and z and now the main the main part of my code will be to do a very simple calculation. I will calculate z uh, equal to y divided by x. And of course I didn't give any value to those uh, y and x, so let's... Uh, y will be equal to 10, 0. Remember that this is a real, so if I give it 10 it will uh, take it as an integer which is uh, uh, and then it will cause a problem so I will have to write like that 10.0 uh, and x will be equal to 3.0 okay and I'm, I'm doing the calculation and basically what I do then is that I just display that uh, the results of print z uh, to the screen so let's save that let's just uh, put it in a bigger screen uh, let's open a new window and open the shell inside uh, and then let's just compile this so I'm already inside my folder so I use gfortran if you don't have it you have to uh, install it and the output will be precision precision.f95 so I'm compiling that okay it's compiled now let's launch this uh, program and you see what I get is uh, this number 3.333325 so basically uh, I divided 10 by 3 so you can say well the result is uh, kind of what I'm expected to, to, to get okay I get 3.333 so if you are calculating like that, just one number, and you're just interested to know something, well, it's okay, right? But if you, uh, you are into an algorithm, a numerical method, which will calculate uh, hundreds of thousands of operations uh, with numbers, with square roots, and all of those things, and you keep a precision like that, well, you will get the, your error will actually increase and increase and, and get bigger. So. Um, how do I increase uh, the precision of my number in Fortran? So that's the purpose of this tutorial. So let's come back in my initial program on the right. And basically what you have to do is to declare a new type of integer 
uh, which integer, sorry, which is a parameter. So uh, you have to write this keyword parameter uh, and it means it's a constant actually. It, it's a kind of um, par a parameter that cannot change during the code. Uh, let's give it a name. So I'll call it uh, I kind, and you have to um, you have to give it uh, initialize it like that real kind, and in the parenthesis you give it a p equal to uh, either six, fifteen, or uh, eighteen. So there are three values that the compiler will accept other kind of value uh, will not. So basically, if I'm uh, doing like that, I'm just uh, defining this parameter and then I have to define my real as a real with this precision. So I have to give it this kind equal I can like that. So let's just save that basically and let's compile again my file and see the difference. Okay, so now you see right away difference in uh, the number of digits after uh, after the decimal so i had like one two three four five six 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 so precision six and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so now i have precision fifteen right so um and if i uh, again i increase this precision p to uh, 18 and I compile again my code well you see it increase again so I'm increasing again the precision um, now you can also use this uh, when you have some constant into your code so for example let's imagine that um, this z is calculated directly by doing uh, 10 divided by uh, 3.0 and that's my okay and and that's it so basically it's a division of two real numbers so what do i get if i uh, do that well i get something uh, really strange as as you can see well, it's not strange, but basically uh, precision is not uh, good. You see that the three stops here uh, and, and here is basically uh, not good. So let's let's come back. So you can actually do that. I can't and um, save I can't. And by doing that, you are actually uh, providing this precision uh, parameter to your uh, constants. So if I come back now to, um, okay, let's compile again. Okay, and now it works. So now I'm getting much better uh, precision. So you can see you can, uh, like that, associate this I kind to a constant as well. Um, now if 15 is okay as the precision for you, um, there is another type of uh, variable you of uh, parameters you can use, which is called double precision. So, for example, if I um, okay, let's kill this line and um, and use that. And instead of real, I'll just use double precision like that. And and again, I will use the same. And previously uh, y divided by 3 uh, divided by x sorry let's save uh, let's come back and compile and now you see that I'm getting uh, right away uh, precision of 15 so that's the difference between the the simple real which is a simple precision and the double precision so uh, and by the way, it's important to understand this concept of simple precision and double precision because now you understand uh, when you buy a new graphic card like GPU or something, uh, they are, there is this value of precision that uh, sometimes is hidden so they don't want to tell you 
uh, how much precision the card has in its calculation because um, ca GPU cards which are for games basically have simple precision uh, and and so they have less uh, less computational power uh, but if you 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 want to use GPU to do uh, like numerical uh, scientific calculation and get accurate results and you need to have very good double precision on your card so you need to find what is the double precision of my card uh, my GPU and then uh, by by the right uh, card anyway that's just a, a note uh, on the side okay so thank you for watching this video uh, and um, we will I will continue I'll do, make a few more videos about some important topics uh, and hope you learn a lot from from those videos that I'm making uh, so thank you again for for watching so if you're on YouTube you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description otherwise you can go on my blog fe4all.com uh, and click in the category open source FEA and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback and if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.